Now I request Mr. Niranjan Hiranandani to share a few words with us. Respected uh, Divai Vatil Sahib, Sahib has been uh, a very, very close friend of my father, Dr. L. Chiranandani, and uh, it's really a pleasure and privilege to welcome here in these annals of KC College, which Dr. Hiranandani was very fond of, and we have also Manju Nichani, the principal of college, to be here to receive you. But thank you for coming on this wonderful occasion. It's really, really nice to welcome you here. Thank you very much. Dr. Jayashri Totkar has certainly set off a, a revolution, a revolution of thought. Because what happens is that diseases of this world are talked about, but when we talk about obesity, as she rightly put, it doesn't sound like a disease, because we are all getting fatter. But I think what she really wants us, that we should be fitter, and I think that thought itself is something fantastic. But to talk about it as obesity being a disease, I think it's a revolutionary thought. So congratulations to you on giving this new picture of the same subject in order to get a solution of it. Dr. Prafula is uh, our journalist and has led uh, lots of campaigns in various aspects of journalism. So it's welcome really to be here. It's, uh, it's people who are in the media who really communicate to the people. And they're extremely important because they can give a different face to the same problem. And I'm sure that having you here today, sir, is going to help us in order to get this solution done. So it's wonderful, really, to have you here today. Thank you very much for being present. Thank you. Anna is, uh, is the blessing that uh, Jayashiri has got. As I had Dr. Elichiranandani, it's nice to have Anna over here. So thank you very much for giving us the blessings and seeing that all these things are really taken about. So it's wonderful to have here. Dr. Chatterjee, Dr. Naik, uh, who have been handling the hospitals at, uh, at Dr. Elichiranandani have really shown leadership. So I think that's the paradigm that we do. Coming back to what Dr. Jayashri Totkar has told us. It really is a mind-opening thought. Is it that we are hiding away the fact that diabetes is really a killer in more sense than the world? And are we actually taking the reverse pride of saying that it is that we have the maximum number of diabetic people in India? What a wrong and negative pride that we take. And here that we need to take a revolution of sorts, we have eliminated smallpox, we have eliminated polio. We may not be able to eliminate diabetes at the first level, but isn't it a thought process that we have solutions in order to get fitness back into the lives of people? And whether the solutions are fitness, whether the solution is food, whether the solution is bariatric surgery, or whatever it is, it's really a mission that she has started. So congratulations again and again, Jayashree, for this wonderful mission that you have instigated and in creating a solution, a problem, solution, and direction. She's also raised another slogan that the government needs to treat it as a disease. The insurance companies need to look at it as a disease. Maybe it's an ostrich-like thought where we are hiding our faces in the sand and refuse to understand the importance of declaring this disease. It's only when we declare that this is the direction, this is the wrong, this is the problem, then can we get the solution? Or do we need to go to the World Health Organization and say, you declare it as a disease, then we will follow it. Why not India take this lead? Why not this country take the lead? And I think it's a wonderful thought and process that you have put on the platform today. I wish you well. She's a very, very, very good surgeon. So congratulations for being that woman surgeon that we have, which really equates that difference. And um, we are just uh, two days away from the 
uh, Women's Day, so congratulations on being the woman who is the pediatric surgeon. And uh, that's also a very uh, beautiful thought that uh, comes over here to our mind, that there is an equation, that it is not only the rich that have diabetes or do not get into the fitness, but it's also the woman, it's also the poor, and it's different categories of people from society who are going to be affected and hurt and neglected, because not only that it is reducing the quality of life of the people, which is bad enough to talk about, but is actually a killer. And the worst part is that there is no obvious killer. Nobody comes in front and kills with a knife. It doesn't have a, like a heart attack that you can blame the plumbing that is wrong in the heart that you really need to rectify. But it's what she calls a silent killer, which is the worst killer of it all. It's almost like an insurgency like a person who really attacked from behind and quietly and silently. So I think we need to raise this flag much more seriously than we would have in other cases because the obvious killer is not seen, the obvious killer is not understood. We need to tackle obesity, we need to look at the bariatric side, we need to see solutions for this. It's wonderful to have this program. Heartiest congratulations to you, Jayashree, to the hospital which is taking up this leadership. Congratulations to all of you to come here this Sunday afternoon, and especially Dr. D.Y. Patel, our leader over here, whom I have such great personal regard and affection for. Since many years, he has blessed us for so much time for all the institutions that we have run, for the help and guidance that he gives, and I look up to him as a guru, so we will look forward to hear from him to understand how these things to be taken forward. And I think it's a wonderful evening. Thank you very much, Jayashree. And all the very best to you and all the rest of the family, as you call them.